we conducted some braking load tests on carabiners to compare two different forms and how they brake under tree load, which often occurs under slackline conditions. Tree loading means that the force doesn't only act in a straight way, but attacks from three sides. This is for example the case when you have a round sling around a tree and connect this one with a slackline. In these tests, we compared oval-shaped carabiners with pear-shaped carabiners. The oval-shaped carabiners were rated with 25 kN and the pear-shaped carabiners with 50 kN braking load. So the pear-shaped carabiner should be about twice as strong as the oval-shaped carabiner. In the first test with a straight pulling, these numbers could be confirmed. Both carabiners held about 5 kN more than indicated. So we went on, putting the carabiners under tree load force. The angle between the two slings on one side was 45 degrees at the moment of destruction. Interestingly, the oval shaped carabiner wasn't affected by tree loading. The pear shaped carabiner was, however, massively weakened as now a lot more force came onto the gate. So it was time to go even a bit more extreme and increase the angle to about 55 degrees. The oval shaped carabiner was still not affected, but the pear shaped carabiner even more weakened and now breaking at 23 kN. Due to these results, we then had the idea of turning the pear shaped carabiner upside down so that the tree loading occurred at the smaller side. We only repeated this force test once, but interestingly, the braking load was now a lot higher, now at 45 kN, so almost doubled. So as a conclusion we can say that if there is no other option than to use a carabiner under tree load, then better take an oval instead of a pear shaped one. And if you only have a pear shaped one, then use it upside down. However, the safest option under high loads is still to use a strong shackle. Whatever your choice is, Always make a backup, so that no metal pieces can fly through the air. And be aware that under repetitive load conditions, like it for example occurs in slacklining, the carabine will be weakened a lot. Please spread this knowledge to prevent accidents in future.